Now to a, a, a political storm. This was last night uh, with the VP debate. But the issue of Donald Trump and his taxes. Uh, give kudos to Senator Kane about creative ways to keep mentioning them. It was how Pence responded that I want to take up with Judge Andrew Napolitano. But first, this exchange. His tax returns that showed he went through a very difficult time, but he used the tax code just the way it's supposed to be used, and he did it brilliantly. How do you know he that? He created a runway because he's created a business that's worth billions of dollars to How do you know that? All right, I'm taking sides here because, for one thing, Donald Trump's business thrives today. It's still around today. If it was just cut off in 95 when he was on the verge of bankruptcy and those huge losses, well, he wouldn't be around today, certainly as a billionaire. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is here is whether anything untoward or legal was being done. Our guy on, well, on all things legal, Andrew Napolitano, what do you think, Judge? Well, I haven't seen his tax returns, and, and in order to, to respond definitively, I, I'd have to look at the 20 years of tax returns from 1995 to 2005. However, it appears from the snippets we saw and the analysis of those snippets by the New York Times that what he did was perfectly appropriate and consistent with the 70,000-page tax code. I'm including the government's wow. revenue rulings in there as well. So it's about five feet high worth of pages to read. Uh, that was designed for people like him to accumulate all of his losses in one year and spread them out against income in the three preceding years and the 15 following years. There's nothing unusual or untoward about that at all. And there are extra allowances for those in the real estate and or yes. casino industry. Yes. Right? I, 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 I take issue with those who call it brilliant. It, it's a well-known rule. Right. And it would be dumb for him not to do it. He, you call him whatever you want. He's not dumb. He, he knows how to get the most out of his dollars. And he's right. His job is to minimize, like all of our jobs are, to minimize exposure uh, to the tax man. What I found interesting is in the follow-up to the article, we learned about a series of emails between Trump's lawyers and accountants and the New York Times. The emails precede last Sunday night or last Monday night's debate. That means that when Hillary Clinton was saying during the debate, and he probably didn't pay any taxes in that time period, he knew what the Times had and he knew what the Times was, was about to come out with and he chose not to mention it in that forum. You think she did? I don't know. I don't know. It would have been very interesting if either of them had preempted the Times. If she had known about it, there's probably some skullduggery going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he obviously knew about it and made a conscious decision not to preempt the New York Times and not to address it. So the issue of did he pay taxes from 1995 to 2015 has not been answered. Because quite frankly, this is going to sound fantastic, but it's true mathematically, a billion dollar loss carried forward 15 years does not erase all of his income. Last year he said he earned $700 million. That's going to consume 70% of the billion right there. So it is more than likely that he did pay some taxes. We don't know the amounts and we don't know in what year. And we should also posit here that when businesses have a big, you know, loss, uh, his is more noticeable because his business has his name on it. Uh, whether it's Cisco, whether it's Apple, whether it's Caterpillar, United Technologies, host of others that had similar, if not larger, losses. Right. They continue to be thriving enterprises. Oh, absolutely. So in other words, if we judge them at the snapshot of the reported loss, we'd think that they were turkeys and done. It turns out they weren't. Look, Congress writes the laws, and Congress right. says, here's a menu of things you can use. Pick the one that you and your accountants and, and your lawyers Republican works. Republican presidents have had opportunities to address this issue. If they find it so offensive. They've kept it in there. They've kept it in there. All right, Judge, thank you. Pleasure, Neil.